It's golden, soft, billowy, and topped with butter and maple syrup. Oh, it tastes so good. A mixture of flour, milk, and eggs, the pancake is a brunch time favorite. Or lunch time or dinner time. You are out of control! This fluffy treat can trace its origins back to ancient Greece, where the poets Cratinus and Magnus described a dish made of wheat flour, olive oil, honey, and curdled milk. Ancient Romans ate a similar snack called alita dolce, or another sweet. By the 1500s, pancakes were popular throughout Europe. And in the 1700s, cooks put fresh snow in the batter to make it fluffier. Today's cooks use baking powder to achieve the same results, but I kind of like the snow idea better. But the fluffy pancakes you might know aren't the only ones out there. Stay tuned as we take a tour of pancakes around the world. Panakaku. Hailing from Finland, panakaku is made from the traditional pancake ingredients of eggs, milk, flour, and oil. But the American flapjack is fried, and the Finnish panakaku is baked. It tastes like a combination of French toast, custard, crepe, and pancake. I'll take all of the above. It's traditionally served on June 23rd to celebrate St. John the Baptist's birthday and the beginning of summer. Cachapas. This thick pancake is made from fresh ground corn, and it's a Venezuelan favorite. The indigenous people of Venezuela's north-central Miranda region have made them for centuries on flat griddle plates known as budares. Today, cooks stuff cachapas with a dollop of queso de mano, a Venezuelan hard cheese. This version of pancake is tender on the inside and crispy on the outside with a smooth, creamy cheese. Yes, please. Injera. Ethiopia's injera is a sourdough flatbread with a texture between a pancake and a crepe. It dates back as far as 100 BCE. Before cooking, the batter ferments using a sourdough starter. Traditionally, the dough is fried in clay ovens over an open fire and can be used as a plate for the main dish. Brilliant! It's often served with Ethiopian stew or salad. Blinis. In Eastern European Slavic cultures, blinis are the pancake of choice. These small, fluffy pancakes date back to about the Middle Ages, and they're a staple in Russian, Ukrainian, and Belarusian kitchens. They can be either savory or sweet and get topped with jam, salmon, or caviar. Fancy. Martabak manis. A thick, sweet pancake from Indonesia, martabak manis was traditionally stuffed with roasted sesame seeds and sugar. Today, they get stuffed with all sorts of options, from cheese to jams or even cookies. Now that's my kind of pancake. Martabak manis is a sweet treat no matter which stuffing you choose. Wow, that is really, really nice. Ragmunka. If you prefer a savory pancake, Sweden's ragmunka may be more your style. Hailing from the province of Östergötland in southeastern Sweden, the ragmunka first appeared in 1904. Like a crepe, it's made from a batter of peeled, grated potatoes, flour, eggs, and milk, and served with cranberry jam and bacon. Kimchi Jun. From South Korea, Kimchi Jun is a simple mix of fresh kimchi and flour batter. Also known as Kimchi Pukimge, it's a savory, crispy pancake fried on the stovetop. Whichever pancake you prefer, there are plenty of options around the world. And there are just as many options for pizza. We'll look at those on another episode of Origins of Food. <laughs>